Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video we did begin chapter 4 Sandini and I was in the process of making my way back to our new camp but got distracted like usual <laughs> and now I am up he here-ish. So my plan is to still continue to try to make my way down to Shady Bell and check in with everybody post Sean's death because I haven't actually had a chance to do so yet. And then once that is completed, I think I want to try to explore Braithwaite Manor area just, just to see how it looks post our last visit. Maybe try to find Sean's grave. I think somebody said it might have been up here. Then make my way back through Rhodes, Caliga Hall, and then end up in San Denis in the next day or two to start some missions. Try to do a little bit of exploration cleanup before I really begin Chapter 4. That's my plan anyway. I'm not sure it's actually going to happen that way, but... But um, we'll see how it goes. Well, I found a corpse. I feel like I'm always just finding dead bodies. <laughs> Withered arm? What? Oh, on the person. Hang on, what does this say? Stumbled across a corpse in the swamp. Poor guy had a withered arm. Um. Yeah, that's... Well, that's random. Well, I made it back to Shady Bell. And wow, this is... Easy. Looks like a pretty nice setup. Your stamina core is empty. My stamina core will regenerate slower. Yeah, well, I had no dead... Dead eye either. Health core... Chocolate bar. There you go. Have a chocolate bar. Apparently that regenerates stamina. <laughs> you boys really are pathetic. And what are you? I'm a goddamn man. Are you? Well, compared to you lot. Here we are. On the run. Being chased east. Across this whole goddamn country. And you boys isn't even making any real moves. No wonder old Dutchie's so goddamn tired. He's got to think for all of you. Shut up, Micah. No, I will not shut up! I'm trying to help. Shutting up will lead to us all being killed. We ain't being killed. We've been in worse creeps than this. Are Me you too. sure? <laughs> but moving around with this many of us, it's trouble. But there used to be more. You're just worried worried because you're the one person in this whole goddamn bunch who does nothing but profit from everyone else's work. Um, that ain't true. You're the first person I'd kill. Um, well, the feeling is mutual. <sighs> he just don't like the truth. He's afraid. He's afraid. Because he's a goddamn parasite! He ain't never off grafting, nor hunting, nor killing like the rest of us. Oh, sure, he's family. He was my uncle. I'd throttle him. He ain't no one's uncle. We should do him in. What? Are you talking about murdering uncle? I'm joking. Relax. You're just making... He's just making friends with everybody, isn't he? You okay? Hey, Arthur. Keep working hard like you have been. Of course. Gentlemen. Not now, Arthur. Uh, oh, okay. Uncle, you don't listen to them. Hey, later, Arthur. Well, at least you're a happy drunk. I wouldn't go that far. How's Abigail holding up? Well, not too good. You need to find that boy, Arthur. Oh, yeah. We will. I promise. I, I, I do need to actually do that as well. Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Hi, Arthur. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. Really? No one's going to say anything about Sean. This is a really nice setup that we've got here. I mean, it's huge. Oh, there's Hosea. Hosea? What's the latest on Jack? <sighs> Still working on it. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Hey, Javier. Bye. I mean... Okay, I, w I do wonder where... 
Arthur's setup is at. Is it too late for stew? I'd love some good stew. Oh, it's not too late for stew. Wonderful. So it looks like the donations are upstairs. Huh. Eating. There we go. Who is this over here? Hey. Hey. Dang, what do you want? Ah, it's none. Hey, Grimshaw. I'm exhausted. How about you keep me company? Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. Tell me some stories about when you was young and pretty Ugh. before time ravaged you oh, you horrible <laughs> man <laughs> right that's right mm. for Lonnie um okay when I was a boy my mother told me about an animal that attacked the cattle and drank their blood of course, you've all heard about this. Every place has one of those, but my mother's version was a little different. Along with farmyard animals, her version also ate little boys who misbehaved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she tried everything she could to keep me in line. Prepare me for a life of starving servitude while picking corn and cotton for rich landowners, giving every penny I had to the church they used to keep us in line. I, I love my mother, but she never saw how things were. Even after they killed her brother, still, she could not see how life was. Sorry, Javier. Think you can make this place work? I can make any place work. Just worried about the boy. Yeah, me too. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Okay, where is Arthur's camp? Because I feel like I keep walking past it. Oh, maybe it's inside. Does Arthur get upgraded to sleeping inside an actual house? What? Oh, it's Sadie. So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Right? Yep, that's how it goes. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, then. Okay, now we didn't loot the place when we originally got here, so. What is this? The castle in the field of lavender. What is it? Nothing, I just, I'm being nosy. I'm sorry, I, I will return your book to you. Thought there was something flashing over here. No, there is not. There's something over here though. Maybe. Well Castle above the glen. A Highland romance of old Scotland. Ooh. And this is I don't know who that is. The castle above the moor. Tilly. Okay. What, Arthur? Nothing. I I literally walked right past you. There's the puppers. Anything out here? No, it doesn't seem like it. How about over here? There's a there's shed out there as well. Oh, is this Arthur's spot in here? Oh no, Arthur's upstairs. What's this? A note.
Um, put away. Okay. Maybe this is... Hosea. Okay. Alright. Upstairs we go. Ever so slowly. Molly. This must be Molly in Dutch's room. And this is the ledger here, yes? Let's see if there's any upgrades. As I got loads of money for it now. Next page. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> I can't boat that um we're not at anymore. I really made lots of use of that, didn't I? Although I do wonder if I should... Why well, can't... There we go. Ledger. I do wonder if I should... Micah, $1.33. Somebody did mention that he did donate $50 a while ago. And I remember him talking about it in camp. But I didn't actually see it in the ledger. So I do kind of wonder if he actually really did do it. Or if he was just like, See guys, I donated and didn't actually donate anything. Okay, hundred dollars. I feel like that should be plenty for a while. But eventually we're gonna find Arthur's Arthur's room. Need some space, if you don't mind. You doing okay? Any luck with Bronte? <sighs> we're working on it. Mm, kind of. I mean, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a timer on anything. Wow. Looks really nice. We should totally stay here from now on. <laughs> like, there's a roof. And windows. And doors. Is there anything out here that I should be looking for? No? Oh, question mark. Yeah, hang on. I got a question mark over here I gotta take care of. Oh, I'm gonna get a talking to. And I'm gonna explain how I'm a horrible person. You wanna talk? Sure. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. Mm-hmm. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. <laughs> I, I don't feel in control. Because I'm in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Again, I feel like, is this a bug? Because it seems that no matter how good cowboy karma I have I I still I, I still um I, I would like to eat some oh, please before we leave there he is <laughs> big bad Morgan <laughs> not now uncle I am the mood crank cow piss instead of milk again <laughs> you're milking the wrong bit son milking the wrong bit <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a metaphor by the way Hey. If you say so. Or is it a simile? I, I can't remember. Metaphor, probably. I feel like I need some cow piss myself. <laughs> okay, bye. Can I eat some food now? Oh, no. Is the stew not ready yet? Really? Or did I just... It's because I had some recently. Okay, well, I'm leaving camp. I'm, I gotta say, I'm very disappointed in the fact that not too many people said anything about Sean. 
Hi, Karen. Oh, is Karen not awake or is she still? She's just drinking what? away. Nothing. Take I didn't... it easy with that stuff. Yeah. She's just okay. This is taking it easy. Okay, I. A anyway, I'm leaving. I'm very disappointed that there there is lots of concern about Jack, which is understandable. But there seems to be zero interest in the fact that Sean died. And I just, okay. But anyway, I'm going to head over to the Braithwaite area. There was supposed to be a homestead or something down here that I could rob. So I'm going to try to find that. And then we'll poke around Braithwaite to see what it's like after I burnt to the ground. <laughs> Not me, but like me and my friends. But anyway, that's that's my plan. And hopefully I, I will find something interesting and bring you back in. Well, I seem to have found a homestead. Catfish Jackson's homestead, to be specific. All right, Wednesday, how about you hang Whoa, out over here while I go and rob the place? Probably not. Oh, I, I would like my repeater, actually. There we go. Hi, everybody. There is there anyone home? I reckon you had enough, Pa. Enough? All I had enough of is you. Uh oh. What's what's going on? Oh, we we're gonna be a bad person. Food in the keep for weeks. Oh, well, you ain't a babe in the crib no more. You full grown now, boy. Stop pulling in your pieces. You'd only gamble or piss it away if I did. You damn maggot. Uh, Who the hell you think you talking to? You need to learn some respect. What the hell are you doing here? Nate, go to your room. Yes, Pa. Uh. No, no. Please. Pa? No. Please don't kill me. Okay. Take whatever you want. Just, just leave. Careful there. Uh, I, I will, I will do so. Cause that was the whole point was to come here and, um, rob a homestead. <laughs> Which I'm such a bad person. Oh no! I feel like though the game already thinks I'm a bad person, so I may as well be one, right? Is that is that how that works? Uh, oh, well, let's search this this cabinet. We'll take the biscuits. We'll oh, this. Why? why would you do this? Mm, search drawer. Really? I probably should have put on my here. I'll put on my mask. There we go. No, now he can't recognize me, right? Forgive me. No, <laughs> forgive me. You just killed his dad. I don't think there's any forgiveness at this point. <laughs> Inspect guard. What did I get? Slick hutted. Oh God. Oh, inspect letter. Let's read. Letter to Nate from Mama. Dearest Nate, I don't know how many letters I've written now, but I won't stop trying. Even the act of writing feels like some connection to which is certainly better than none. I can understand how hurt and angry you must be for walking out on you like I did, but I promise that I love you with all my heart. I just couldn't take it a day longer. You know your father's temper, especially when he was drinking, which was all the time at the end. I found work and am renting a small house. Just give me the word and I will send for you. We can both start again. Love always, Mama. Maybe. Here's a thought. You could have taken your kid with you when you left. Cards. Multiple cards. Horses card for American Standard Bread. Okay. And then... Missouri Foxtrotter. Okay. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Is this the good treasure chest here? Is this going to be where it is? Pirate rum. Chewing tobacco. Oop, coin sack. Finally found it. $11.55. Okay, well, I probably didn't need to kill the guy inside, but I but I did. So so that that happened. 
Hello? Help me! Someone help me! Please. You okay there? What's wrong? That the you snake back it. It. Again? I again. What the heck, dude? It's real deep. Suck it out of it, please. Oh, can I just give you the health care? You're damn lucky I have this. <laughs> I can't believe I don't carry this with me. Right? Oh, I owe you so much, mister. Yeah. Can't believe like. you saved my life twice. Me neither. <laughs> well, I best be getting back to town. I'm gonna eat a stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like... <Yeah>. I... <laughs> this guy got the snake bite. <laughs> he needs another health care. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find that just so ridiculous. Now, I remember when I was over here doing some mission to save Trelawney or something, there was a, yeah, here it is, a scarecrow. I'm over on the Braithwaite's place because I'm going to poke around and see and and see if there's anybody left <laughs> and if there's anything of the house left because it, it doesn't, I don't know, I can't tell from here. But anyway, the point is, is that when I was over here on the Trelawney mission, one of you guys said that I could actually come back and get this hat. But it, it doesn't seem like I can. I'm very confused by this. How do I... Do I need to, like, shoot it off? There we go. Shot off the hat. And I can swap the hat. Oh, there's an, a witness investigating a... a I've got a derby hat! Let's, let's run away. Come on. What? What? Is... Uh, who are you? Oh, oh my gosh! Marry me? Oh, I'll fuck you! Oh, you know I will. Why? Why? Oh, where'd you go? Oh! Wraith Wade's who, secret? Who are you? Please! <laughs> what? Oh, mother. Uh, Reed. Found a crazy One, young woman, real strange two, looking, locked three, in a kind of outhouse, seven, hidden on six, Braithwaite Manor. Four, World five, ain't a kind eight, place to folk like her. Two, uh, one, two, ten, three, five, eight, thirteen, four, one, two, three, um, four. Can I let her three, out? Seventeen, tw tw twenty-nine, th thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, seventeen. Eight, nine, three, one, two, four, seven, um, five, nine, one. one bye, ma'am. I don't think one, I can let you out. One, that that was two, that was one, um that's a creepy secret. You lock up people in an outhouse. That's so okay. Bye. Well, I've made it to the Braithwaite Manor, and um, there were there were still people here. <laughs> um, uh, se several people still here, and and I they left me no choice but to kill them. So I I I, I did what I needed to do. But the house is uh, definitely burnt down. Um, well, let's 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 have a let's have a look around together. Probably would have been better to do this during the day, but. I'm I'm slow, so there's not much I can do about it now. Okay, let's have a poke around. Oh, oh my! Catherine Braithwaite. Well, there you go. Oh my um. Oh gosh. Catherine's brooch. Well, let's see if there's anything else to find. Oh, look, there's a lockbox. Can I actually get to it? Because that'd be great. No, seriously, why is it I can never get to lockboxes? Okay, hang on. We're almost there. Inspect lockbox. Got it. Finally. <laughs> oh, a gold bar. Well, that's 
That's handy. Anything else? What? Wasn't the whole thing that they thought that the Braithwaite's had a pile of gold somewhere and... I mean, I guess they did. They technically had a gold bar, right? <laughs> well, who's over here? Is it some more? You got the wrong fella. I political. If you wasn't political, you wouldn't be no federal tax collector. Oh, definitely the Wine Raiders. I ain't federal. It's a state poll tax. Well, y'all won't take the time to learn the difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need jelly jack. Did I? I don't. I made it to the earth in the state of Lamont. And you're dead too. I'm a prisoner of these men. I know you are, sir. I I have some good cowboy karma to earn back. <laughs> Hello, Mister. They come out of nowhere, okay? Next thing I was regaining my facilities tied up here. Please cut me free. Sure, cut free. You're free, my friend. You have no idea how thankful I am. You ain't home and dry yet. Run along. Go on. I know. I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Sir, they're yours. Oh, thank you. I was going to take it anyway. Well. Yes, I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Shake yourself awake. It has been a while since we slept, hasn't it, Arthur? Good luck to you. Good luck to you, sir. Well, I finally made my way to Rhodes, and I would like to go to the post office to see re what rewards I have from turning in dinosaur bones and... Oh, hello. Hi, been Alden. Since you were around this way. Yeah. Let's receive my mail. So it was for dinosaur bones and the fossils, I think. Kentucky bourbon arrived ten, 12 days ago. Wow. Well, and $10. Is. Yep, that's the word in town. A pay bounty? I don't have one. Although, do I have to go to the other side well, over here to get the Bye. stagecoach robberies? Good morning, to you. Good morning. Wait your turn. Almost done. Okay. Well, hello again. I got another one then. You interested? Mm, let me come back to this. Yes, I would be interested. But I'm I'm in the middle of exploring, so I'll, I'll get back to you. Hey, move it. <laughs> so I'm not sure I last left you. I I think it was when I was picking up my mail, and I may have been bad since then. I went to Kaliga Hall and to just explore and poke around, and. And they, they didn't like it. And then they called the cops on me. And now I have a bounty. It's only $155, but now I got to go take care of it, which is kind of annoying. But um, worth it, I guess. There's a letter here I can read. I, I think I killed this guy. I'm not really sure. But there's a letter to read. <laughs> it's worth the $155, right? Maybe? <laughs> Letter to Mr. Gray from Malcolm Moffat. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna take the letter and flee because there's there's more coppers coming after me. Oh, I, that's not what I meant to do either. Oh my goodness, all the things. I'm having so many problems today. And they're here. And the cops are here. This is really bad. My bounty is gonna be so huge now. This is basically what I've been doing for the last ten minutes. Just killing cops. Wednesday. Oh, no. I... And there's more of them. I'm, I'm not gonna swing, actually. I've committed enough crimes that the town has been put on lockdown. <laughs> I've been so bad. 
I've been so bad. Okay, the letter is here. Let me try to get out of here. Well, here I am in Valentine. I, I made it to someplace safe eventually. So now we can take a minute to read this Gray family history letter, a letter from Edinburgh University about the history of the Greys. So it is dated April 3rd, 1895 from Edinburgh University from the senior professor in history. Dear Mr. Gray, thank you for your long and well-researched letter regarding your ancestor. Forgive me, I was unclear if he was your great-grandfather or great-great-grandfather from your missive and his ostracizing and emigration from Scotland to the colonies in the aftermath of the uprising in 1745. I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, particularly when communicating with such a passionate Scotland exile as you describe yourself. But I'm afraid our records are rather precise. I have made an extensive study of the spy networks of the Duke of Cumberland, as you may be aware. The Duke was an excellent record keeper, and it seems that the relative of whom you speak, Ross Gray, was unquestionably a well-paid informer. Uh-oh. He was paid in both cattle and cash, and also rewarded in significant land holdings confiscated from his neighbor. That would explain why he did not leave Scotland until 1755, full 10 years after the revolt. This was, of course, the year when a few Jacobite supporters began reprisals against known informers in the Highlands. I am sorry if this is not the news that you were looking for. The Jacobite era was a very complicated time in Scottish history, and certainly my antecedents are divided into rebels and loyalists. Being the progeny of a family of loyalists is certainly nothing to be ashamed of. At least I hope not. If you're in, in Edinburgh University, I do hope I can show you around the university. Yours sincerely, Malcolm Moffat. Oh, so they weren't, I don't, I don't know, the kind of Scots that they thought they were? <laughs> um, Wednesday, that's not actually what I told you to do. I, I told you to, to hitch hit your horse, but I'm going to pause things here today. I feel like I have got a lot of exploration done, especially, <laughs> actually, I'm going to pay off my bounty first, but I did explore all down through here, Braithwaite Manor. Oh, I didn't find, I didn't go look for Sean's grave. I needed to do that, but then I got, I got distracted by the grace distracted me. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow before we head into San Denis because I feel like I've gotten all the exploration done that I wanted to get done this week anyway at least until next week but I got all this area pretty much done except Sean's grave which I think was supposed to be over here at some place but anyway this is where I'm going to pause things today maybe tomorrow we'll start the day off by paying off my bounty and see how how very very expensive that is but I did go to the fence I went to the general store vendor and I sold a lot of items I was hoping that I was going to be able to get a new trinket, but apparently I need some more, some more stuff before I can do all that. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop rambling at you. And like I said, pause here. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.